Good afternoon, everyone. I'm back. Lutra FM. Hope you didn't miss me too much. Um, I appreciate the, the people that did say they will miss me. Much appreciate. Uh, I had a very nice week off. It was nice just to relax and recharge the batteries and see some nice scenery and go for nice walks. Um, I'm back now and ready to go. So um, we've got another episode today of the So Show You Phony Say. And I'm looking forward to seeing how we get on in League One. So um, I'll be back in a sec with the first part of the video. Right, here we are. I'm just going to show you how we're doing so far. So we've played four games. Um, one, two, lost two. So six points. Not too bad considering um, we got wins over Leon and Rennes. We lost to Nice and Monaco. We've got... In this episode, we've got Troyes, Lorient, Orcsa, Marseille, and maybe we'll have enough time to play um, Brest. Uh, no jokes included in that one. Um, so yeah, let's see how we get on in the first game. So we've got Pinto as right back, Diagne and Lebrun as centre defence, Paisley in a unfamiliar position of left back, um, Thierry and Abdu in midfield, Kofi on the right. Angeli in the middle, Dida on the left, and Baz up front. So I feel like slowly Kofi's been converted from a striker to a inside forward support. So I don't know whether that's something that they've done that the assistant manager has decided to do because I leave him in charge of training and stuff. So maybe it's a natural progression for Kofi. So instead of becoming the outright goal scorer that we've had, he's going to become more of a support system for Vaz. So he's going to be like a, an assist machine and probably he'll still get the same. He'll still get some goals though. Uh, so he scored he scored two in four games so far this season. So he's not doing too bad in that new position. I'd be very happy and ecstatic if we finished our first season of League One as mid-table. As long as we don't get relegated, I'll be a happy man. Abdu breaks it from the opposition corner, gives it to Angeli. Angeli on his own. See what he can do. He loses the ball, unfortunately. Uh, Abdu gets it back. Kofi, beautiful ball. Vaz was very unlucky not to score, but I think it was offside. Yeah, Vaz was offside anyway. Uh, we won't be talking about Man United, by the way. So uh, that's that. <laughs> oh, good save. No, jokes aside. Um, even though we lost, I think the goals that we conceded were different to the ones that we conceded last season. We need to work on set pieces and things like that, defending set pieces, but I feel like that can be trained better than what the what we were doing last season. I think we played better last season, uh, better in the game than we did probably last season. Brighton's a very good team. As much as we want to slate Man United, we've got to give props to Brighton. Uh, I mean, like, we're unlucky not to get that goal. It just was, it was just unfortunate it come off Xerxes' knee. Um, but yeah, we're playing Liverpool next, so that worries me because Liverpool have been playing really well so far this season. So, but yeah, you, you know what will probably happen. Man United, would, when they're underdogs, they tend to play well. Uh, I just hope we don't lose to Liverpool because get in, go on, one 0 Kofi. Um, I just hope we don't lose to Liverpool because there's a lot of arrogant uh, Liverpool fans on the side game forums, especially uh, one particular one. I won't mention him by name. I don't want to give him any. Uh, I don't want to give his head. I don't want to make his head big. But yeah, they they drive me mad. So I hope Man United beat him just to shut them up, basically, because <laughs> I'll never hear the end of it if Liverpool beat us. Right, we've got a penalty. Get in, Kofi, second goal of the game, 2 0. Hope you all had a nice weekend. Um, thank you for the people who did watch my videos last week when I wasn't there. I do appreciate you keeping my numbers up on the videos. Oh, nearly. Um, so, yeah, so thank you for that. Much appreciated. Right, Angeli. Loops it in. Oh, that was over the line, surely. Hmm, uh, I swear that was, that should have been three 0 now. That was definitely over the line. Right, free kick to us. Angeli loops it up. LeBron. Oof. 
Sports keeper off. Thierry offside, I think, by the looks of it. Oh, no, end the first half. 2 0 up at half time. Not too bad. Troyes is definitely a team we should be beating. Paisley, lovely cross. Oh, Kofi, how the hell did you not score your hat trick there? Kofi, very unlucky not to get his hat trick. Corner to us, Angeli. Headed out, back with Didot. Playing it out from the back with Abdu. Nice bit of passing going on here. Everybody getting a touch by the looks of it. Pinto switches it to Pay, uh, Paisley. Paisley, beautiful. Kofi with his hat trick. Oh no, VAR. Let's see. Oh, goal awarded. Get in. Right, 3 0. A Kofi hat trick. Maybe he likes this new position on the right wing. Maybe it's best place for him, similar to, like, similar to, well, they say similar to Rashford at Man United, but he, he doesn't play well in any position he's in lately. Uh, I do love Marcus Rashford, but I do think it's time he went, for his sake, as much as anybody else's, give him a fresh start, because I feel like he's just getting strangled at Man United. I feel like he's, uh, the, the Man United fans are giving him a hard time, and that, you know. I think rightly so to a point. We expect more of him. It, it's it's uh it's weird like the one season he'll play out of his skin and be like the best player in the country basically. And then oh there we go another goal for Kofi, um, and the next season he just plays really rubbish. I don't understand it. By the way, I've done a survey about where the people who watch my videos live if you could just uh, tick the option that's best for you so uh, just curious where people are from that are watching my videos much appreciated if you go on my community page and just quickly tick on the one that's that's uh for you it's like i've put uk um i've put europe not uk and then i've put north america and then i put other so that covers everybody. Right then, we're back in a sec with the next game against Lorient. Right, we're back and we're playing Lorient next. Um, I've had a bit of a shock to the system. So basically, in the when I was holidaying in between um, the last game and this game, I had Paisley and also Abdu both say they want to play in stronger team, stronger squad. So basically, what we would call what we used to call wants to play for a bigger club. So I've offered them out. Nobody's given me anywhere near what I want for them. I've had two flimsy little loan offers. I'm not accepting them. This is what I hate about FM is you'll get opposition clubs trying to rip you off, trying to sign your best players on loan or as cheap as possible. And yet when you try and go for their players, they just straight away go, we want 50 million for a 10 million player. It's just ridiculous. FM... Um, Sorry Games, Sega, Sports Interactive, whatever you want to call them. Uh, they need to sort that out for FM24 because it's, it's, it's very unfair. You know, one way you need to do it one way or the other. You can't have it. But, you know, it just makes it very disadvantaged to us playing the game. So anyway, um, Kofi's slightly injured, so he might be on the bench. Let's have a look. No, he's not on the bench. But he's not... He's not ready so he's not playing Izanga is in for him and then over that I think it's a straightforward team uh, let's see how we get on against Lorient we're wearing our uh, lucky bright pink shirt we tend to win every time we play in this shirt from what I from what I remember uh, I still haven't got the Socho shirt I will get it at some point it's having the money to do it because I'm going to have to fork out full price for it by the looks of it. Um, which I'm not particularly happy about. And I've probably got to pay... Oh, good goal. Probably got to pay a fair bit in postage as well. Because it's coming from France. So you're looking at about at least 60 quid. So uh, I'll see. 
I'll have a look on uh, eBay offline in between the next in between this game and next game, and I'll see if I can find any anybody selling so show shirts because every so often somebody new will be posting it on eBay, and I might be able to buy it then. Yeah, as I said, this lucky pink shirt is doing well for us again. We're winning one nil. Uh, did not score. I decided to um, start, I've started a new offline sale on FM by the way, uh, one of many, and uh, come on get it, that's it, good, well done Paisley, ah, that's unfortunate, I feel like that's, that should be disallowed, I think he was too far forward, let's have a quick look before I ramble on about the offline save, yeah, that was, that was a good, good decision by the referee, the AR. So yeah, so I've started a new off offline save. I've got the a recent data update and I'm playing as Chelsea just for the lols. Um it's just ridiculous. I I started with eighty five players. Um I've tried to cut the squad down as best I can. I try to get rid of players that in real life Chelsea are trying to get rid of, like the Kaku and and people like that. Couldn't get rid of the Kaku in my first season, but I've just started the second season, managed to Sal Lukaku for 30 million. Um, still got Ben Chilwell, nobody wants him. Um, I did sell Cucurella in the end because I just don't rate him at all, even though in real life he's Chelsea's starting left back. So, um, yeah, it's an interesting save. I'm, I'm projected to be 750 million in the red. So, but then every season the sponsorship deals seem to just work it out and. It seems to be all right, but we'll see. I probably will. Oh, I only just I I I I finished the season second. I was one point away from Arsenal, who won the title. Um, I lost to Arsenal the not the last game of the season, but the, the game before that. So um, or else I probably would have won the title. Um, but yeah, so we'll just see how it goes. I'm not completely bored of the same just yet. I'll probably do one more season with them and either resign and try and take over another club because um, I've got the top five countries in Europe loaded up or I'll just carry on or I'll just start a new save with a different team. I'm trying to sign former Chelsea youth prospects as well because they've got quite a few decent young players that come through. So I might just turn it into that type of thing where I only sign former Chelsea players or something like that. But We'll see. I'm getting really bored of playing FM in general, other than obviously when I'm playing on this, because I feel like when I'm playing this save or me Coventry save that I started as well online, because 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 I know you lot are watching, and I feel like I'm getting more into it than I would on as an offline save. For instance, this social save I probably would have quit ages ago, because I just would have got bored eventually. So. Um, think it does make a big difference when you feel like somebody else is invested in the save as well. But yeah, we'll see. But I'll be carrying on this save until FM25 anyway. So, um, like I said, if I win the French League, um, then I'll just carry on the save and try and win the Champions League before FM25. If I win the French League, um, not the Champions League um, before FM25 comes up then I'll just quit the save and start a new one for FM25 um, hopefully I'll be able to complete my objectives because every save I've done online I've not completed what I wanted to do whether it was Rafe Rovers, Everton <clears throat> um, it just hasn't worked out so I'm hoping this one changes that and I feel like, because I feel like, because my I, I did look at my views the other day, and I noticed um, there's quite a few views for the So Show series. So I feel like there are people like you out there that are invested in this series. So I appreciate it because knowing that you are enjoying watching this and wanting me to do well and actually win um, the French league and stuff like that, it makes me want to like try and do it for you lot just as much as I want to do it for me as well. Uh, but yeah, I do appreciate it. Right, that's that done. Oh, criticised did not. This never works, does it? Whenever you do that, they never go, oh, okay. 
Right, we've got Alts and Exxon back in a sec. Right, we're back and um, we've got Kofi back up front. We are playing Alts there in this game. Um, so I think we're pretty much unchanged. Oh, Bastian's left back today. We've got Mugin in midfield. Uh, Isanga's on the right. But yeah, pretty much the same team. But other than that, I suppose. Let's see how we get on against Alts there. Paisley in the team, even though he wants to leave. Didda. Sebastian. Good pass. I always feel confident that when Bastian has the ball that we're going to score. He's so good at passing. He's such a quality player. 1-0. Angeli. Angeli, only 17 years old. Absolutely bossing League 1 this season. I think it might be fair to say we might have um, a future French international. Oh, look at that. Another goal by Angeli, future French international here in mean, Angeli. It's a shame that um, Bastian's a little bit old. I think he might break into the... Let's have a look, actually. No, he, he could do, still. He could, he could still, tech, maybe. Um, he's only 28, so you never know. There's more chance for Angeli and Didot, maybe, getting in there. And Thierry. Why is this all weird? Oh, I don't know what's going on here. Why is this all like this all? What have I done? Hold on. No, that's that's right. So why is... Oh, I don't know why that is. Right, let's click on this. And then let's click back and hopefully it'll fix it. Yeah, I don't know why that happened there. Uh, let's have a quick look. Angeli. So if he stays at the club, great. But I don't think he will. I think he'll want to leave just like the rest. 17 years old, potentially value of 16 million. We've got him here for three more years. So we've got him until he's 20 years old. Um, let's have a look at information. He might be... Is there any media? No, no. So he's not going to be... He's not touted as the next... The next... Something, something, as they say. The next, like... Kylian Mbappe, etc. I have actually had the next Kylian Mbappe before in a save with FC... Uh, SC Tulian. Uh, a couple of years ago when I was doing the Youth Academy Challenge. And uh, his actual name was Armand Mbappe, which was hilarious. And he actually was somehow related to the other uh, Kylian Mbappe in the game, even though he was a new gen. So we had a Kylian Mbappe brother as a new gen in the save. Get in, did up. We are absolutely destroying the opposition in this episode. It's been a great episode, this one. Doing really well. Surprising a lot of people. 3 0 before half time. Oh, I did a. Um, on the Man United game, I did a bookings treble. Uh, I did three bookings trebles actually, and there was literally no bookings up until the last 10 minutes or whatever it was, the last 15 minutes, and none of my players got booked. <laughs> it was ridiculous. I've never had it like that before, so it was quite funny. And I did, I did a couple of goal whackers, um, and here's a bit of advice. When you're doing betting hackers, never ever bet on any of the early kickoffs, um, which is what I did. And I had two, of my, two out of the three of my goal hackers screwed in the, the, uh, after the early kickoffs. So all I had was one goal hacker left, um, and I wasn't even... I had like four games where... I didn't, I didn't get two and a half goals in them four games out of the seven. I think I did six, no, six. I did a six fold over two and a half goals each and only two of the games out of the four had um, three goals in the game. So yeah, bit of a bust. But yeah, four nil up. Sorry about my croaky voice again, everybody. Uh, for people who know, I am a wrestling fan. No, I haven't watched um, AEW All In. I haven't. Um, I've only just caught up with last week's Collision and this. Uh, no, no, sorry, not last week. The weeks before Collision and then last week's Dynamite. So I've still got last week's Rampage, last week's Collision. Then I've got the pre-show for All In and then All In. So by the end of this week, I'd have probably caught up with it. But I, I know what happens. I've I've seen the spoilers and results and stuff like that. So I'm not too bothered about finding out what happens.
happens because you just can't avoid it on social media these days. So it doesn't really bother me that much, to be honest. The only event I try and not to, and I don't go online until I've watched the watch the event is the War of Rumble because I like to see even though they haven't really done it much lately in WWE I do like to see the surprises in the Rumble match um, I don't like that to be spoiled but WWE haven't really been giving us su surprise wrestlers lately in the Rumble match which is a shame anyway 5-0 win and Gelly great performance by him let's have a look Marseille in seven days, so I'll be back in a sec. Alright, so we've got Marseille now in the last game of the episode. Let's see how we get on. Just click, click on this again, just to make sure. Um, no real surprises in the team. Basically, pretty much our strongest team. So let's see how we get on. Let's see if uh, Angeli and Kofi can perform well again. They've been In this episode, they've been doing really well. Um, same as Bastion. So, yeah, get up with the ball. Oof. Unlucky. But yeah, we're doing very well. The fact that we're third in the league is astounding, really, to be honest, considering. Pinto. Oh, that's a penalty. That was a very silly defensive error there. We'll see what the VAR says first, though, because we can't always assume. Oh, penalty award again. Right, Kofi, not not the best at penalties. He's got a 50-50 chance at this one. Sometimes he scores, sometimes he doesn't. He does this time, though. That's a confident Kofi, that is. Seventh goal of the season for him. Let's have a look, see how many goals he's got. Um, sorry, no, not see how many goals he's got. How many games does he play? Um, yeah, so seven and seven, so he's averaged a goal every game so far. We got four goals um, two, ge well, two games ago against, was it Troyes or Lorient? I can't remember. It was one of them two. But yeah, he's doing well. 1-0 against Marseille. We're now second. Four points behind PSG. Hopefully we can finish in the European places this season. I'm not getting too carried away the fact that we're second at the moment because we we always start well and then we kind of have like a blip in the middle of the season and then work our way down the table so we'll see they were unlucky there right Marseille have a corner that was a good headed goal there VAR is going to intervene here. Find out what. Just check it out. I think it's going to be allowed though. To be honest, I don't see there being any issue. Yeah, that's what I thought. One one. Gone down to third though. Lens up in a good season so far. Seventeen points. They're a very good team to put, uh, to manage on FM. I've always enjoyed a save with Lens. Can't take anybody else off now, which is a shame because Bastian's knackered now. Did up, drives it into the middle of the pitch, swings it across to Izanga. Izanga, what a goal by him! Get in, what a shot! I'm glad Izanga scored. Hopefully he'll start becoming a first team regular on the right wing, but we'll see. I don't know what this assistant manager does half the time. He, he puts Kofi on the right wing for about five or six. Oh my God, the straight away come back with a goal. He plays um, Kofi on the right wing for most of the season and then all of a sudden he starts playing him up front. Vaz is on the bench, so it's not like Vaz is injured. They just had a free kick at the post. We've managed to defend it well. They've got possession. Leads to nothing. We've got a few tired legs and we can't do anything about it, unfortunately. Oh, we can. Well, oh, that's weird. It wouldn't let me take him off earlier, now it does. Okay, good save. Oh, we can, we can take the other players off. I don't know what the hell happened there, though. Let me know in the comments section what that was all about. It wouldn't let me take any players off and then all of a sudden it would. Uh, I can't take him off. I can take Dibber off, though. Let's put on... Let's 
take you off. And then we need to can't take you off. Um, ah, we take Vince off. I think we can. Yeah, good one. There we go. Right. 2 2 might be a fair result, to be honest. Oh, that's a nice, different, different free kick. Didn't lead to anything directly, but at least it caught them off. Bit of a unique set piece there. Probably going to be 2 2 at this rate. I don't think there's going to be any more highlights. Nope. 2 2 is not a bad result. We've got Petru, uh, Pet, Pet Popage. He is looking at Bobby Abdu. Uh, Le Havre. Anyway, we'll figure out if that happens later. Um, but yeah, I'll be back uh, tomorrow with another episode. I'll just uh, expand this quickly. There we go, like so. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow. All the best. Bye.